Hey there everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. In the last episode, we fought Mario & Luigi's clones inside his body. We got the second Star Cure, so now we're going to go ahead and talk to Dr. Toad in order to figure out the location of the third Star Cure, and so on and so forth, because Bowser is now trapped in a safe. Which is kind of awkward, so it's only up to Mario and Luigi. Bowser is completely out of the picture, won't be able to use him for quite some time, which is a little unfortunate. However, this gives us an opportunity for Mario and Luigi, which is going to take several episodes, which is pretty much going to be exploring the world and getting a shit ton of beans. And, um, also getting a bunch of other secrets that are around the world. We're pretty much going to wrap up most of the side questy, secrety sort of stuff. Or at least the major stuff um, in the next several episodes. However, while we're there, we're also going to get the third star here, which is on Plaque Beach. However, it will, of course, not be that simple. Also, we have a new technique to learn, but first, we get to do this little thing with this little machine back here that uh, analyzes inhalation, exhalation levels, or something like that. Because, you know, we're going up in the cliffs, and of course, you know, the game tries to be realistic, and they're like, hey, you can't breathe up in the cliffs, because, you know, high altitude, less oxygen, blah, blah, blah. But Mario has apparently good lung control, so he'll be perfectly fine. What about Luigi? Because, of course, Mario is always perfectly fine. He's, like, the kind of person who's just, like, perfect at everything he does, annoying jerk. And Luigi, of course, is, is not that good, apparently. So, that, that, that was a bit, uh, bad. Let's, let's try this one more time. Okay, whoa, whoa. And also, by the way, you do have to exhale in your DS while you're doing this. Um, it's kind of like the thing to do. But, um, as you can see, Luigi blows so hard that he breaks the ventilation systems in the hospital. That's, that's probably not the best built machine if the, if the feedback just blows out your air vents. I don't know. Uh, but now he has to fix the machine. And apparently we're both pretty good to go for the cliffs. However, this is going to lead to our new technique, as you're going to see in just a second. We get, we get, we get... Um, of course you have to have this in every Mario Luigi game. It's just it's just a necessary thing. You have to have some sort of, well, I guess it's usually of water. But um, I guess this isn't really quite like the stuff in the past Mario Luigi's. I mean, it still involves Mario getting fat, though, so close enough. But um, basically, as you're going to see, we're going to be able to fill Mario up with air in a little bit, and we're going to do this to uh, learn this new technique in order to catch Birdly, which is apparently the bird, the FYI bird, because he stole the key. I don't know why they give the bird the key, but um, not necessarily the best idea. But anyway, yeah, I use these little air vent things, which you'll find throughout the world. We've seen plenty of these before. Um, we've seen plenty of those things around. But uh, you can basically use those, and you get a little bit of a hover sort of um, really giant leap. So using this, we can get to new heights and cross vast distances using these little air pipes. However, um, A, you can't really go through doors because uh, with both of you on top of each other, you're kind of a bit too big to fit through doors. And you can't really do much else besides, um, you know, walk around and jump. We can't do any other techniques, obviously, until you get rid of the air vents. And you can only do them when there's air vents around. So it's not really the most useful technique. It's just sort of something that's like there when you have air vents. And you're like, okay, well, now it's time to do this whole little thing. But now we've learned how to do that. And uh, that's precisely what we're going to do. Anyway, so Birdly, uh, he, he, he's basically, uh, he's going to, uh, I guess, join us on our quest for a little bit, as you can see, because Birdly is nesting, and Mario's like, I don't think I approve of this whole nesting thing, but that's what's going to happen, uh, so he's going to be the guide, he's going to lead us to the third sage, and um, from there, hopefully we can get the third star here and save the world! So uh, as you guys know, uh, the easiest way to get to Black Beach is from... Actually, you don't really know because I haven't really shown it yet. But the easiest way to get to Black Beach is from the first Blubble Lake pipe. So that's precisely where we're going to go. So this pipe right here. Um, and then from there, we're going to head down. Uh, now, if we head to the... There's, there's two paths here. If we head to the right... Um, I think if, if we look at the sign, yeah, I do. Uh, the right is Dimblewood. You'll make you'll actually get a path to Dimblewood from here uh, if you just go along this route. I just kind of go along. Well, I'm not gonna go th show the whole thing off. There's no reason to. But um, if you go the whole way, no, go away, dude. Do not want. But unfortunately, we did fight one of these guys. I don't think I've shown these guys before, so I'll go ahead and uh, show them off. Except I sort of made him dizzy, so I didn't really get to show them off very well. But why not? We'll show it off anyway. Um. Because, I, yeah, I don't think I've, I've shown these guys off. I really don't remember. I think I might have been a scrapped recording session. But in this one, I don't... I, in the actual real one, I don't think I have. So, we're showing it off. Um, and luckily, the, the Dizzy Woods do make these Bowser enemies uh, easy. These guys are about the level where they're pretty... They're, they're, they're tough, but we can handle them. Uh, earlier Bowser enemies we can handle, but the ones in, say, Bowser's Castle Underground, you cannot handle them. I'll actually show an example of that later, probably. But as we are right now... 
those enemies are way too tough for us to handle. And the unfortunate thing is we have no way of uh, getting rid of his whole bean healing, so we're just going to have to sort of power through it. Luckily, I think our damage output is a bit higher, so if he does waste a turn doing beans, as long as I don't screw up the hammer like that. I was going to see if I could, like, hammer his teeth out. It doesn't work like that. Unfortunately, it does not work like that. I'm pretty sure there's no way you can get rid of the teeth as Mario and Luigi. Um, I'll jump over his shockwaves, and if he does his little banana peel thing, I'm not sure if I show that off or not, i just hammer him away. That one's not a hard one to dodge. Uh, it's generally, um, look at his position when he's doing the body slam, because that's going to determine uh, how you should jump over them. Because if he's a bit closer to Mario, you have to jump a little earlier with Mario. If he's a bit closer to Luigi, you have to jump a little earlier with Luigi. If he's right smack in the middle, you jump at the same time. That's obviously the easiest one to dodge. Uh, so the right is Nimble Wood. I'll show where that leads off later when we actually do some exploring in Nimble Wood, which we will be doing soon enough. For now, though, I'm going to head south, and what I'm really going to spend the majority of this video on is, uh, uh it's actually Kavi Cape, so we're not going to go quite to Plaque Beach yet. I'm going to explore Kavi Cape, um, I'm going to quickly grab a bunch of beans that are just sort of scattered around here, uh, and get those out of the way. There's also a few areas I could have shown off of Bowser. Basically, um, going through this, the, practicing this whole section, I noticed there's a bunch of areas of Bowser that I completely forgot about that I could access once I get once I got fire or once I got the body slam. Because there's just a lot of uh, little side areas in the game that's hard to keep track of all of them. Like all the instances where there's trees you can't get to yet, or all the instances where there's places you can buy slam. I mean, there are certainly uh, areas that I missed, and I will eventually go back with Bowser and grab them. Uh, one of those ones is here. Luckily, it doesn't matter if there's trees in the way, you can actually dig under them with Mario and Luigi, so that's not going to be a hassle. In fact, I can actually grab all the stuff that I missed with Bowser while I'm actually here, because you can break Bowser's item blocks with Mario and Luigi using their hammers. So this hammer right there, boom, could have gotten five coins. Obviously, uh, nothing too significant in a section where you could have gotten with fire. Uh, we're not going to find anything useful. We definitely got the better one with the uh, section of the Judge Shell. That was definitely the one you want to actually uh, stop by and get. This is just 15 coins. However, there is an enemy here we can, can fight with Mario and Luigi, and we're going to do just that. It's some sort of weird name. I don't even remember what the name is. It's like, what is it? What is it? It is a Borp. It's a Borp. My goodness, it's a Borp. It's a fun name to say, Borp. I oh, just want to say that really weird. But uh, they shoot little gaseous clouds at you for some strange reason. It's, it's kind of disgusting, actually. Um, but you go ahead and you just jump over them, and then all is well. I think that's really all they do. They're really not uh, anything special in terms of enemies. Just take them down, and you're good to go, really. Uh, they're not going to give you anything too tough here. So, um, obviously, they can change direction, though. As you saw, one of them did shoot to Mario. wasn't expecting that. Took a hit there, but my small shell saved my ass, because that's what it does. Uh, so there, that gets rid of the borps. And we almost level up there. Almost. Close. But no cigar. Um, I guess at some point I'll find one of those Goombas as well. Just I happen to run into one of those Goombas. Just because there's, there's really nothing special about these early Bowser enemies. As you can imagine, we do one-shot them quite easily. Because, I mean, they still have pretty low health considering they're early Bowser enemies. Doesn't mean they're going to be too tough for Mario and Luigi to handle. Um, yeah, but, but the, the way you dodge them, it's just normal Goomba dodging. Really, you just jump over them. Or is it Hammer? I don't even remember. But, I mean, they're generally pretty easy to dodge. They were easy to dodge for Bowser. They're easy to dodge with Mario and Luigi. It tends to be the case. If it's easy, they do attack pretty similar to the way they do with Bowser anyway. So if it's hard to dodge with uh, Bowser, it'll be harder to dodge with Mario and Luigi and vice versa. But these guys really aren't that tough. Um, now, there is going to be, by the way, an interesting thing we can get with Bowser back in Kavi Cape later, which is in that item block right there. However, we cannot access it yet with anyone... Which is unfortunate, but sometime soon we will be able to access it with Bowser, and then good things will happen. There's a, I think that might actually be one of Bowser's best items in that thing right there. Uh, we'll show it off. It'll be pretty cool. But for now, just collecting beans. Don't expect the next few episodes to be that. Well, I guess the next few will be, but um, there will be a couple just sort of bean collection -y episodes. And this guy, I could not, I, I could not fight him for the life of me. Like first, that freaking sniffle flop from two episodes ago, which is just somehow I hit him, and I don't even know. But, and then, and then of course, the, uh, of course, he just, the, if he does a little pop, he'll sort of hesitate like he did with Bowser. 15 experience! Very exciting. But then, and then this guy will refuse to get hit, so it's like, okay, freaking enemies never want to do what I want. When I want to fight someone, they won't let me fight them. When I don't want to fight someone, they make me fight them. Screw you, game. But as you can see, they're very tough. Uh, I purposely screw up the jumps just so I wouldn't kill it, so I can show off its attack. But that's really all it does, it just charges you just like I did with Bowser. Nothing too special. Uh, there's a couple interesting. There's a couple beans over here we can quickly grab, and after that we'll have everything. Um, well, we'll almost have everything, and then we can just go ahead. Uh, after each section, I'll go ahead and bean everyone up and uh, increase their stats again, 
And through the, um, if you do get all the beans in all these sections, you'll get a ton of extra stats for, uh, especially if you do what I do and give the majority of them to Mario and Luigi because they have more health and also because they really do need them the most overall. Um, you'll, you'll be able to, you'll probably be able to get several levels worth of HP, power, and SP through this whole uh, segment. Probably like easily five or six levels worth at least. Well, maybe not that much. Probably, probably about like five levels worth of HP, uh, power, and SP, which is pretty awesome. Um, definitely will give you a very significant boost, so I definitely do recommend uh, getting all these beans if you can. It's it's definitely worth your time. Uh, we're gonna see, you're gonna see there's gonna be, there's a lot of beans scattered across the world for us to collect. It's going to be a bean marathon here on Channel Lucky 7DX. It's going to be pretty intense, except it's just collecting beans, so it's really not that intense. But one can try. I mean, it's stuff that I need to shop anyway, and I mean I could make cuts, I guess, and speed this up a little bit, but eh. It's not really that worth it. There's 11 beans in Cavi Cape. I think we have like 10 of them now. There's just one over here that I sort of saved for the way back because it's on the way back. Uh, makes sense to quickly grab it. Um, and then will be enough that. And then I guess I'll spend the rest of this. I will actually make my way over to Plaque Beach and I'll uh, begin to make my way uh, to where the third star um, stage is. Because I will get him next episode. Don't worry, guys. I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna sort of intersperse the plot throughout this because it works that way. Because you're pretty much exploring the world anyway for this third star here, so it makes sense to just sort of get everything while I'm doing this whole exploration thing. It, it almost seems like the game sort of encourages you to do so, uh, just by the way it sort of uh, uh, developed, I guess. Anyway, we'll give a power bean to everyone, I think, and uh, then we'll move on our merry way to Black Beach. So onwards to the beach. Um, and so yeah, well, next episode we'll um, go find the third star sage, and uh, then the episode after that, there's gonna be some side questy stuff. Then we'll work on the third star cure thing again. It's just gonna be, it's almost gonna almost sort of alternating between like you know side questy stuff and plot related stuff. Um, so it's kind of cool. So just sort of interspersed about that. But we do have a new enemy. We've seen these guys before, but now we can actually fight them. And you do not want to jump on them because they hurt. Hurting is bad. These things are called drill bit crabs. Yeah, there we go. Um. And they're 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 kind of annoying because a I mean any enemy that you can't jump on is just automatically annoying because that's just obnoxious. But um their their attacks are a little uh just I mean a you can't jump on them so you have to, uh make sure you dodge that appropriately make sure you can see which one's drilling out and do wait a little bit haha <laughs> I broke your shell what now um I got both of them nice well the one attack is they just charge you just hammer them uh, counter attack the other one you have to make sure you watch where they're coming out underground jump over and then jump with the other bro as well because they'll try to attack both bros so just be careful of that did I just get a third dizzy hit I mean it killed them but it was still a dizzy hit man these hammers are just hammers can be really good uh, the dizzy hits sometimes it is nice that I have the dizzy boots though because I do prefer jumping but I can still get the whole dizzy perk from the uh, hammer that's why I love the dizzy boots you can still make things dizzy, but at the same time, you have the power of, and the double hit ability of a jump, which is really awesome. Anyway, we do get to level up. We get to get some extra defense. I'm not sure what. To, uh, I'm not sure how the whole level up system in Mario in this game works. It's obviously not like the other one. Um, I think the, uh, the like the numbers you get in the roulette are based on Bowser's levels, actually. If I think, if I uh, remember correctly. So because of the way Bowser's leveled or something like that, we're gonna get like a certain amount of roulette and I don't know it, it, it is really weird as you can see though we're mostly just getting ones and then you know we can get up to three or four usually which so far have been generally pretty good at getting the three I mean it's a nice thing if the even at the worst possible roulette you can still get three if you time things well and I mean that's still a pretty darn good uh, stat growth now there's plenty of places we haven't explored quite yet with Mario and Louis, uh, with uh, it, yeah, on Plaque Beach just because we need Mario and Luigi to do that I'm gonna save that for a couple episodes from now because there's going to be stuff we can get there that's not there yet. Uh, so because of that, um, all those side areas that we've seen before, those are going to come later on. They're not going to actually happen now. Uh, for now, though, so uh, I am going to take care of the main Plaque Beach uh, main story stuff first, but though, before I do that side questy stuff, so expect in about a couple episodes if you guys are wondering what's there. And also, we get to fight some Toothies! Uh, obviously, they're not very hard because you can one-shot them just like the, the fat Goombas. But if you want to see how they attack, they basically just uh, charge you, and then it's, it's basically how they did before. For some reason, I didn't hammer that properly. But they're dead, so really, they really aren't a threat either. Um, get a hot drumstick. Very useful there. Uh, Mario and Luigi apparently are not... They're apparently vegetarians. They apparently do not eat meat. They only eat mushrooms. They're mushroomitarian, or however the heck you want to call it. Uh, 
Also, there is a section over here that I did miss. What? No! Don't do that to me. That's rude. Do not want. Um, as you can see, though, if you do hammer them, um, you, you, can, uh, you uh, can also not kill them, and then you sort of knock them off, and then you can uh, jump on them normally. So hammer won't kill them, I don't think. I think a, a jump will kill them, but a hammer will just knock their bones away. Um, overall, I, I'm not, actually, do they do extra attacks if they're uh, like that? I don't even have an idea. As you can see, I can't access this with Mario and Luigi, though, even though I can get under the trees, because um, Mario and Luigi cannot raft. So unfortunately, you'll have to come back with Bowser and get there. I think it's just coins. So, nothing too special here. I didn't really miss anything too significant, luckily. Um, but to finish off this episode, we're just going to head over here, because this is where we're going to need to go for the next part of uh, Black Beach. It's going to be, as Burley says, over to the west. So, you can see like a little, some little statues here, a pretty uh, foreboding area coming up here, as we're going to scale the cliff and figure out where the location of the next Star Stage is. So, see you guys next time. This is Lucky 70 x signing out. I'll also explore that house in a couple episodes from now. The house does have something really, really cool, but that should come. That's gonna come later. So uh, when we're doing the whole bean hunting, so it's gonna be like next episode we find the sage, and then after that we're gonna do some bean hunting, and then all is gonna be well. So see you guys next time for more Mario and Luigi. Bye bye.